I'm Brian Patrick Flynn. I'm an interior designer, and I'm gonna show you how great design and good-looking spaces are made. My team and I are gonna show all of the intense work that goes into making one beautifully composed photograph. Today, we are doing a photo shoot for Mr. Coffee, and we are capturing Mr. Coffee products in a very woodsy, cabin-like, warm, but wintry atmosphere. Basically, everything we do, we prop, is gonna enhance the Mr. Coffee product. This, I don't know what the hell it is, but I wanna use it. <laughs> photo shoots, whether they're interiors or tabletop, I would say they're 90% prep and 10% execution. For example, I usually have a prop styling station because the key to getting a good photograph is having those options. We have way more props than we need, so I'm not attached to any of them. Wow, $4, that's a good price. Here you go. 95% of the things on that table, I will not use. But I bet you this, if I didn't have them here, I would need them, and the shoot would be totally ruined. The black and green candles definitely for the interior dining room shot. We'll also try them outside, too. I was thinking, since it's a coffee shoot, so I'm thinking maybe we don't need the sled. So, that's Mandy, great. there's I'll your, uh, your uh, transportation home. <laughs> That's it, I'm gonna go have another three cups of coffee and you guys make it look good. <laughs> if you've never been on an interiors or tabletop photo shoot before, you might think it's ridiculous how much time is spent with the prop styling. Okay, do me a favor, pull the um, centerpiece completely out of the shot. Oh no, that's way too bare. Go ahead and put it back underneath the light. Maybe, Same spot, little yeah, but maybe not dragging it on the marble. Oh, that's great. Maybe, okay. What you might see is my entire team and I putting something down, taking it out, putting it down, taking it out 57,000 times. Mandy, the bowl of chestnuts, take it out all together and come out of camera. I want to see what it's like if we lose them. See about getting Gidget on the front chair. I feel so bossy. I'm just standing here looking, <laughs> looking, well, you looking at an see. iPad, you, you put my dog come on the chair. Come here, you want a treat? Okay. No. It's weird because it's this is all super elegant. This is super playful. Gidget, come here, look a spider. Come here. It's actually my favorite part of what I do. Even though it takes a lot of time and years of experience to create a very effortless shot, prop styling can make or break any image. I can't believe I actually will spend three or four minutes a day moving a piece of cheese. <laughs> What'd you do today? I moved a piece of cheese. What is the biggest time suck out of everything we prop style? Textiles, textiles, textiles. I think I have spent more time getting a cloth napkin to look casually placed on a chair than I did studying for my freaking SATs. And it seems silly, but when that final image is perfect, moving a cup of coffee two inches to the right or two inches to the left changes the atmosphere. I think we're there. Lighting is so moody, look at that. Ooh. I love the composition of this. You know what makes the shot? The napkin. The freaking napkin, <laughs> the napkin. And I don't... Basically, I just want a prize for, for making napkins look good. What is that prize? It's what exactly do you get? <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. I'm not like a huge dessert guy. Well, I mean, I eat, I eat, I eat a lot of I, I like that I say that, but meanwhile, 90% of my intake is cake. Since this shoot is for Mr. Coffee, we've had to pay extra attention to any food that we're using to surround the product. Mandy, who's our food stylist, is 100% in charge of everything that has to do with food, simply because the amount of time and care it takes to make sure everything is perfectly fresh when it's time to shoot it. And if we're gonna go for something that's a little bit more refrigerated or frozen, Mandy's standing by to make really cold creations that still look very frothy or frosty the minute Robert, our photographer, clicks the camera. Do you like it when I ask you to Photoshop things yeah, out? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Like everything. I like when Photoshop. you quote ISOs too, or you tell me to bracket stuff. I know everything about cameras. Yes. Anytime I'm shooting, I will find myself really playing like a game of Tetris or Frogger. I find myself moving things around and jumping really quickly and carefully. And then I also find myself taking one piece from another room and fitting it in this way to make the shot better. The Mr. Coffee French Press, push that up against that stack of plates by like two inches. You have to check your ego and your sentimental attachment to every single thing in the space in order to make the photography shine. And sometimes if you happen to have some favorite objects, you just kind of have to let them go for the sake of making a good shoot. That's how it goes. There you go. That might be it. That's good. That's good. I think I keep just repeating what you say. Yeah, we just keep saying God. the same thing. Talk about inefficiency. We're on the same page. Do that. Do that. <laughs> take the shot. He wants you to take the shot. Okay. <laughs> Move the coffee cup to the right. He'd like that coffee cup there right. Maybe we cannot, maybe we cannot do that, Brian. Maybe we can be more efficient <laughs> with our time, Brian. Maybe we can stop wasting everyone's time and get more things done in one day, Brian. All right, let's take the shot. 37 I'm minutes. 37 I'm tired. minutes. Of let's life. take a shot. The minute that you're set up on a tripod and ready to get that shot, it's all about all the options you have behind the scenes to make sure the composition is right. 
The outdoor stunt was my favorite. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. so good. The, the time of day just really screamed like what it's like to live and entertain in the mountains. And as much as I'd love to sit here and entertain with you guys, I do have an entire house worth of furniture to put back. So maybe we can have you guys do that while I supervise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. I'm Brian Patrick Flynn, this is A Cup of Coffee, and this project is sponsored by Mr. Coffee.